It's cooking with Cuisinart. Great recipes from master chefs. Now, one of America's greatest chefs, Hubert Keller, from Fleur de Lis in San Francisco and Las Vegas. The Burger Bar in Las Vegas and St. Louis. And Sleek Steakhouse in St. Louis. And now, today's recipe. I have a great recipe here, which is actually a bread made with some orange and apples and pecan, and it's really one of a kind. And by actually adding those apples into it, it really keeps that bread really nice and moist. So to start, I have some flour right over here, and I will add a little bit of cornstarch in it and a tiny little bit of salt. So I'm just going to stir that nicely and mix it in so that it's really nicely and equally mixed. So that's fairly simple. And over here, let me add the pecans in the food processor. There we go. And we're just going to chop those up nice and coarsely, just a couple of on and offs. And really, when I'm talking about like a quick bread, you will see how quick it is actually to make it. So once I have my, my pecans ready, I'm just going to lower those pecans in here. All right. So, and then at that stage, I'll put the blade back inside. And of course, I will zest an orange because I'm really going to flavor that cake or the bread with some orange. So here, I'm going to do some couple of orange zest just by sliding down that zester along the orange. Here we go. Once I have that, I'm just going to add that into the work bowl. There we go. Put that in. And then what I'm adding also is some sugar. So once I have that, now I'm going to chop everything and mix it up just by a couple on, on and offs. And really, you can smell when you're above the cup, just like I'm in with the, by chopping those zest, you can already really smell the orange. So it's really inviting, very pleasing. All right. So now, three more elements I'm adding into it. The raw apples that have been actually sliced. So I sliced them up so it's going to be a little bit easier for the blade to chop it up. And I have a little bit of vanilla extract and a whole egg. So I'm going to add that into it also. And I'm going to chop that one up. Just another little step, very gently. All right. Once it's mixed, one more element over here. I have a little bit of milk that I'm putting in and some melted butter. So that's definitely going to add something to the bread. So. We, we're going to mix that in again. All right, so here at that stage now, what I'm adding are the nuts, the pecans that I just have ground before. I'm going to add those into it. And of course, our cranberries. So those are all the elements which are in here. I'm going to chop it up one more time. And you obviously see how easy it is to use the food processor and to have everything in that work bowl and just do it in a couple of minutes. So it's really that quick bread that I was talking about. At that stage now, I'm just going to remove it. And we'll add our mix of flour with the cornstarch and the salt. Just going to add that into it. There we go. And then just going to clean up a little bit here and just couple of knives off and it really is going to come together. I have two kinds of pans that really are two options. We can either use like a bread loaf pan over here or like more like a muffin pan over here, which is like different shapes. It's really up to you. You have several options. Uh, today, I think I'm going to go with that one. I'm just going to spray it and just give it a little bit evenly, go in there with a brush. And what I really sprayed it with it was some uh, vegetable oil, actually, who contains already some flour in it. So it avoids me one step, and it makes my, my life a little bit easier by using that spray. So once I have that, of course, I will bring over the dough over here, close to it. I'm going to grab 
a spoon here and just nicely gonna fill it in so you see I'm just gonna lower it like that so it's very very simple it can be evenly distributed so here I'm just gonna finishing spooning out that great mix into the, the baking pan and that's exactly the height really you want it be filled up because they're going to rise a little bit but definitely they're not going to go over the the pie tin so I'm going to put that in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 35 minutes until basically a toothpick is clear when you put it in or if you're baking in a loaf pan of course it's going to take probably about 40 to 45 minutes but look what I have actually here and how they look when they're coming out they are beautiful they're nice and moist and of course in the loaf pan you can see it's equally nice just by slicing it up and that's great for tea you can use it for breakfast and I would recommend personally even to freeze it let's say when you bake a whole loaf or two or three loaves of it freezes it freezes very well and even those type of cakes I must say after one day with the flavoring that really picks up inside they're even better and then what I would do is just probably top them with a little bit powder sugar or you can even serve it with a little bit strawberries on the side or really can be very creative but you could really see how simple and easy that bread is and then of course I want to taste it to see you see how nice and flaky it is and it's absolutely great and moist and I really want you to try it